Hi everyone and welcome to Monitor Max channel where we discuss all things machine condition monitoring using the latest technology. Here we don't just provide technical insights, we also help you advance your career with industry recognized certifications and practical skills that truly make a difference. Let's talk. In this video we will be discussing lubricant degradation, its causes and effects. We will introduce you all to Aerospec Oil from Aerolytics, one of the leading brands in machine condition monitoring. What is a lubricant? A lubricant is a chemical substance that reduces friction, heat, and wear when introduced between rotating solid surfaces. What is lubricant degradation? Lubricant degradation is the process by which a lubricant's chemical and physical properties change over time. This can happen due to a number of factors, including temperature, the type of oil, and the environment. Contamination in lubricant is the root cause of premature lubricant degradation and accelerated wear of machine components. Prevention and control of contamination is very often the most reliable means of preventing equipment failure and keeping lubricant dry and clean. Please check our video on hydraulic fluid contamination control. Causes of lubricant degradation, dirt solid contaminants. This could be inbuilt internally generated external or due to poor maintenance practices, Moisture water contamination, pressure and temperature differential, vents and breathers, level oilers and seals, contaminated lubricant, poor storage and handling practices, and inclement weather. Water is the leading cause of hydraulic pump cavitation, also known as vaporous cavitation. Depending on the oil type and temperature, a bearing can lose 75% of its life due to water contamination before the oil even becomes cloudy. Water contamination results in stable emulsions and higher viscosity. It will also cause a loss of film strength, which is necessary to keep surfaces apart. Another negative effect that water will have on the equipment comes in the form of additive depletion. Water contamination also has a negative impact on the base oil of the lubricant and causes problems such as oxidation, hydrolysis, and aeration. In oxidation and hydrolysis, Water promotes changes in the chemical and physical properties of mineral oils and some synthetics, which lead to acid formation, viscosity change, varnish, and sludge. Water encourages aeration problems such as foaming and air entrainment. It also puts bearings at high risk when the machine is at rest. Once static etching or corrosion gets started, bearing failure is imminent. Oxidation. Aeration exposes oil to oxygen. The bubbles produce a high surface area interface between the air and the oil. The interface serves as reaction sites for oil oxidation to initiate, particularly when the oil is hot and moist. Thermal degradation. Aerated oil generates heat by the following mechanisms. Adiabatic compression of air bubbles, which is localized heat generation. Aeration-induced oil flow resistance in piping and components, where energy is converted to heat, and loss of bulk modulus, where air makes oil compressible, which generates heat. The increased heat leads not only to oil oxidation, but also to thermal degradation forming varnish, sludge, and carbon insolubles. Additives such as zinc dialkyldithia phosphate or ZDDP will also deplete prematurely due to the heat. Soot. Soot, comprised 98% of carbon by weight, is formed during the combustion process and enters the crankcase with combustion gas blow-by. Soot particles have a near spherical shape and originate in the 0.01 to 0.05 micron size range but tend to agglomerate to form larger particles. Major engine manufacturers have identified soot and black sludge deposition as a major cause for engine failure. Research has clearly concluded that soot increases the viscosity of the oil. High viscosity corresponds to cold start problems and risk of oil starvation. Soot polishes off protective anti-wear soap films in boundary zones such as cam and cam follower zones. Carbon jacking from the buildup of soot and sludge behind piston rings and grooves can cause rapid wear of rings and cylinder walls. This can cause broken or severely damaged rings during cold start conditions. Increasing concentration of soot contamination causes a variety of problems. Glycol. Glycol enters diesel engine oils as a result of defective seals, blown head gaskets, cracked cylinder heads, corrosion damage, and cavitation. The following are some of the risks associated with glycol contamination. Just 0.4% coolant containing glycol in diesel engine oil is enough to coagulate soot and cause a dump-out condition leading to sludge, deposits, oil flow restrictions, and filter blockage. According to research, glycol contamination results in wear rates 10 times greater than water contamination alone. Glycol reacts with oil additives causing precipitation. For instance, 
an important anti-wear additive in motor oils, zinc dialkyl dithiophosphate or ZDDP, will form reaction products and plug filters when oil is contaminated with glycol. This leads to loss of anti-wear and antioxidant performance as well. Glycol has led to cold seizure of engines. Ethylene glycol oxidizes into corrosive acids including glycolic acid, oxalic acid, formic acid, and carbonic acid. These acids cause a rapid drop in the oil's alkalinity, or base number, resulting in an unprotected corrosive environment and base oil oxidation. Oil balls, which are abrasive spherical contaminants, form from the reaction of calcium sulfonate detergent additives found in nearly all motor oils and glycol contamination. These balls are a known cause of damage to crankcase bearings and other frictional surfaces within an engine. Glycol contamination substantially increases oil viscosity, which impairs lubrication and oil cooling. Air. Air can exist in oil in four different states of coexistence. They include dissolved, not visible, with no clouding present, and can represent as much as 10% of the total volume. In trained, unstable microscopic air bubbles with clouding present, free trapped pockets of air in dead zones, high regions and standpipes, and foam highly aerated tank and sump fluid surfaces with more than 30% air. The problems associated with aerated oil include oxidation, thermal degradation, poor heat transfer, retarded oil supply, and cavitation, fuel dilution. Frequent starts of an engine, excessive idling, and cold running conditions can lead to moderate fuel dilution problems. Severe dilution, which is in excess of 2%, is associated with leakage, fuel injector problems, and impaired combustion efficiency. These are symptomatic of serious conditions that cannot be corrected by an oil change. According to research, 0.36% of total fuel consumption ends up in the crankcase. Problems associated with fuel dilution include, fuel dilution in cold operating conditions can cause waxing. During startup, this can result in low oil pressure and starvation conditions. Fuel dilution can drop the viscosity of a motor oil from, say, a 15W40 to a 5W20. This collapses critical oil film thicknesses, resulting in premature combustion zone wear, including piston, rings, and liner, and crankcase bearing wear. Fuel dilution from defective injectors commonly causes washdown of oil on cylinder liners, which accelerates ring, piston, and cylinder wear. It also causes high blow-by conditions and increased oil consumption, also known as reverse blow-by. Severe fuel dilution dilutes the concentration of oil additives, and hence diluting their effectiveness. Using the Eraspec oil, you can monitor the condition of your lubricant to prevent the above causes from occurring. Eraspec oil can determine parameters relevant in lubricant analysis according to the latest infrared standards such as ASTM E2412. It monitors degradation products like oxidation, sulfation and nitration, additive depletion like aminic and phenolic antioxidants and anti-wear, and contaminants like water, soot, fuel, fame, and coolant liquid. Complex oil parameters such as tan and TBN or viscosity are calculated by chemometrical models using a customer expandable database. Eraspec oil is a compact, rugged and lightweight FTIR spectrometer that delivers laboratory-grade results in monitoring lubricant conditions. It is the first truly standalone analyzer combining advantages of infrared oil condition monitoring, like fast and reliable results, with high portability. Measurements can be performed directly on site and the results are available within a few seconds following ASTM, DIN, and JOAP methods. With Aerospec oil, there is no need for sending in samples for analysis. For more updates on machine condition monitoring, please subscribe and share with friends and colleagues and click on the notification button. Also visit our website at www.monitormaxengine.com.